Hi, I'm Tom and in this tutorial for FreeCAD I will show you how to create slab openings like this elevator shaft opening and this stairwell opening in FreeCAD BIM. I'm using FreeCAD 1.0 and I will show you two methods of creating slab openings. The first one is using the sketch options and the second one is using the arch remove tool. At the end I will also show you how to create this cutout as a possibility. So let's get to it. This is my start file where this is level 1 and here I've got the elevator shaft and here is the stair and I will first create a level 2 slab which I already created and it's a sketch based slab so this is the full slab and I will want to create two openings in the slab. The first method I will show you is to create the opening for the stair and I will create a 3D solid object that has the shape of the opening and I will remove it from the slab. So first I will look from the top at, at, my, at my drawing and then change the view to wireframe so I can see the stairwell. And here I will create a rectangle and I will turn my snapping on, snap to the end point and I will zoom in here and snap to this point, snap to this point. So now if I look like this and I can switch the view method and hide the slab you can see that I've got a rectangle created here it's this one so now I will select it I want to create a solid out of this rectangle so I will use the BIM extrude tool so I will fire up this tool while I have this rectangle selected and here in the length along I will select something that will cut through the top slab so let's say 5000 millimeters hit ok and I have this extrude object which is now this high and I will turn on visibility of the slab uh, object and now I will select the extrusion then with control select the slab and use the arch remove tool. This cuts the extrude away from the slab so now you can see that the opening is created which is what we wanted. The second option how to create an opening is to edit the base sketch. So I will go to the sketch edit mode by double clicking the sketch and as you can see I have this sketch it's basically a rectangle which defines the shape of the of the slab and now here if I create another rectangle inside of the slab or it could be rectangle or any other shape I just draft this this is not exact but like so and I close the close the sketch and I will hide level 3 now you can see that it did not create opening but basically another another uh, slab inside of slab but if I select my slab to create opening I have this option in the data properties and if I scroll down here I've got the face maker option under the structure group and if it's none it doesn't create the opening I could change it to simple which is very similar to none but it uh, overlaps uh, both of these slabs. So this is also not what I want so I will select the slab again and change the option to cheese and cheese actually creates the opening as uh, I have created the sketch. But uh, now you can see that I was not precise and I want to have the opening created here so how can, how can I achieve that? If I enter the sketch, I will actually delete these uh, lines. Uh, I cannot see the external geometry even if I switch uh, the view section on or off. And this is because the walls, 
the bottom walls are inside of the building structure so they are not visible inside of the sketch so I need to have an option to see those walls inside of my sketch how do I make it so they are visible there and to do that I will borrow a tool from the part design workbench so I will switch to part design workbench I will hide this slab and I will borrow this uh, subshape binder so first I will select the face that I want to see visible in the in the sketch so I will select this top face of the walls and create uh, the shape binder from it so I'll just click this uh, button and if I look at the model the binder is created so this is all that we need to do in the part design workbench now I can switch back to the BIM workbench and now if I make the slab visible and go to the edit mode of the sketch you can see that the shape binder is visible here and I can import the geometry from the shape binder into this sketch so I will use this create external geometry and I will create not the line but just these corner points so I will click this point and this point and now I can create a rectangle exactly from this point to this point and it's automatically constrained to those points so now uh, it's possible to delete those uh, original those simple points uh, it depends on your workflow they might break uh, if you if you if you do something with those walls or the, or, the, or the binder but I will leave it as it is and close the close the uh, sketch and uh, now you can see that the shaft opening is created correctly because my slab has already face maker uh, option set to cheese which is nice exactly what we wanted so these are the two basic options of creating openings in slabs but now let me show you here in the face maker we have the option cheese but there's also this bullseye option let me show you what it does and how it differs from cheese so if I edit the sketch again and I will create a rectangle and overlapping geometry and it's at the edge of the base sketch so I will create rectangle like this uh, I will not constrain it it can it can be like this and if I close the sketch creation you can see that if I have the cheese option it creates here basically I think it's another slab but if I select the slab and change the face maker to bullseye it creates the cutout like so so this might be useful in creating details alongside edges of slabs now let me show you also how these openings behave in a different way and that is I've got a multi-story building so I have another slab at level 3 and I will want to create these two shafts on the same place as below of course so in the case of the extruded uh, object which was arch removed from the slab this is actually advantageous in this case because I can select the extrusion and if I show it you can see that it's this blue uh, blue uh, extrusion and if I make it a bit taller so the length I will change to let's say 10,000 millimeters so it also uh, it also intersects the upper slab now it doesn't create the shaft but I can select the extrusion and then with control select the second slab and again use the arch remove tool and I can remove the extrusion from multiple slabs so, so this is actually advantageous in the architectural workflow if I wanted to create the uh, opening in the slab which I created using the face binder 
I will I will actually have to go to the sketch so I will double click the sketch I can see the face binder here too but I have to uh, repeat all of the steps I created previously so I have to create external geometry like so and then I can uh, create the opening and of course I have to set the face maker to cheese or bullseye on also this uh, this slab so this is how you create openings in slabs in the BIM workbench if you like tutorials like this one consider supporting the FCB lounge channel by donating through the Ko-Fi page the link is in the description box below I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.